What we want to talk about in this video are paths. Paths are powerful tools that are straight out of Illustrator. They are the um, exactly um, the same vector tools that we have, as a matter of fact, in Illustrator um, for uh, saving paths and um, uh, turning them into selections as well as uh, clipping paths, which we'll talk about a little bit later on. <clears throat> and the first thing is that we want to look at the fact that these tools are straight out of Illustrator. Here you go. You can see that you've got the uh, pen tool, the free transform tool, add anchor point, delete an anchor point, and the convert direction tool. Remember that makes um, um, curves into um, uh, angles and angles into curves and makes the handlebars independent. You also have the black and the white arrow to select paths and uh, the white arrow to manipulate paths. Okay. We also have another group of shapes like we did um, in Illustrator. Um, the rectangle, the oval, and uh, several others including the custom shape tool which we'll talk about a little bit later on as well. And it has some pretty unique features. And um, whatever we are doing, any kind of path um, uh, work, we also need to pay very close attention to what's going on, as always, I guess, up in the options bar. Because we have a number of, of different, actually three different kinds of ways um, we can use the path tools and they are distinctly different and we're going to look at all three of these. The first one I want to look at is what is called a vector mask. A vector mask. And what we mean by that is um, whether we uh, pick one of these shapes or we just pick the um, uh, pen tool, doesn't really matter. But I'm going to pick this first option uh, what's called a shape layer. And when I um, notice uh, before we start, we don't have anything referring to a shape layer in our layers palette. And you're going to see a brand new layer will automatically be created. So I'm just going to create a shape with this, um, um, this shape tool. And look what's going on. Suddenly we have um, a red box here. Well, it's more than just a red box. Um, when we look more closely, what actually has happened in one quick move, Photoshop has automatically, automatically created a new layer. It has filled it with the foreground color, which happened to be um, red at this time. And then, in fact, what creates the rectangle we see is, in fact, what? It's a layer mask. This little gray or black uh, thing here, it's a straightforward layer mask. And as a matter of fact, if, in fact, I were to trash the layer mask, look what's going to happen. We're going to see, in fact, we ended up with a layer completely filled with red. And that is what a, um, a shape layer does. And um, the other thing about it that makes it different than a layer mask, whereas we could edit layer masks with the painting tools, this is, these are vector shapes. And one thing also, um, all of these vector tools and vector shapes and paths remain crisp and clean even though they're in this um, a bit mapped or rasterized environment because they are vector tools. But I will go to the white arrow and I'm going to come over here and click on this shape and lo and behold, look, it is nothing more than a vector shape. And so it can be edited. I could add anchor points, delete anchor points, and so this layer mask or vector layer mask is here and at any time can be reselected and then re-edited. Okay. 
The other thing that's interesting is we want to start looking at some of the visual clues that we have. And when I look at the Paths dialog box, bring that up if you don't have that in front of you. Notice I have my Layers palette and my Paths. And what's interesting with one of these uh, vector shape layers is um, when that particular layer is not selected, you will not see um, anything indicating uh, the vector mask in the Paths dialog box. What I mean is, watch, I'll go to one of the other layers and um, look, it disappears. You only see it showing up, this particular kind of path, um, showing up when in fact it is selected. And there you see it. So sometimes it can make you feel a little bit nuts. You look and you see it one minute and then the next minute it's gone. But um, here it is, and this is called a vector shape layer mask, okay? So that's one kind of um, path uh, tool.